Blake in uh, the driving through Pennsylvania. Hey, Blake, thanks for listening to Sirius. What's up? Hey there. Um, I'm calling today because I want to begin bringing awareness to a very disturbing issue. Um, while I was, I used to be in the Navy, and I was stationed at the U.S. Naval Hospital in Guantanamo Bay. I had nothing to do with the prison. I was on the regular side. And during my time there, I learned that the Naval Station employs numerous, probably hundreds, maybe thousands of um, foreign nationals from Jamaica and the Philippines. And what, was, what, I, what really made me upset was I found out that because they're not U.S. citizens, they're not entitled to minimum wage. There, many of them down there were working two jobs at the exchange or the hospital. So, yeah, are you or, telling me that at Gitmo they're doing the same thing that cruise ships do? You know, paying people two bucks an hour because that's big money in the Philippines, even though they're working in the United States or off our shores? Yes, sir. Wow. And I mean, on on in like on other military bases, that might be okay because they could leave base and go get goods that are priced lower. But right. in Gitmo, we can't leave base, so they're having to buy products that are at U.S. prices and sometimes marked up because everything comes to the base on a barge from Florida. Right. They're not... I, they're treat, it's almost like slave labor, and I honestly thought that the president's uh, executive order might correct this action, but I just talked to a Bl- friend. Blake, are these, are these people employees of the government, or are they employees of private for-profit contractors who are taking money from the government? Um, pretty, maybe both. My bet would be, and, I, and, I, and I'd, I'd bet something substantial if I were a betting man, that it's the latter, that, that we are, you know, in, in, the, in the Reagan rush to privatize every function of government, We've probably outsourced a bunch of functions down at Gitmo to private for-profit corporations, and they're bringing in the folks from the Philippines to work for far less than minimum wage. But, Blake, thanks for the eye-opener. I appreciate it. You're listening to Tom Hartman. Visit TomHartman.com for audio and video archives. It's amazing. I mean, you know, you can can pick up almost any rock in America, and underneath it you'll find some remnant of the Reagan, Reagan administration.